Assigning tasks over Teams chat is so easy that I'm not gonna teach you. My dog will. Guys, I don't have opposable thumbs, so I'm gonna tag my dad back in. Sure, bud. So I'm back in the game. But if Jack had thumbs, even he could do it. That's how easy it is. So without further ado, once again, let me teach you the conventional way and the better way. So, to assign tasks through Teams chat, what we should do first is go to chat. So I click on chat and go to the conversation with Adele. And let's go to the message itself. She wants us to send her some images for a social media post. So let's create a task about that. We go over to the text and click on the ellipses and create task. So through this screen, I can only assign tasks to myself, not anyone else. But here I can change the title and let's change it. And here where the task should be and the priority and the due date. So one day should be fine. So let's add some notes if we want to. I think this is fine. So add task. And there it is. The task is created. To see this task, we should go to tasks by planner and to do. There we go. And here in the task section, I can see the task that I created. There it is. So once I complete it, I can click on the little circle over there and check it. And through this ellipses button, I can adjust the progress, the priority, the due date, and I can move the task somewhere else, or I can delete it. Now, the one thing that is not very good about this planner is that it doesn't send us any reminders for this task, right? So we can only see it here. So they're not very easy to keep track of. So. Let me show you the better way. Tasks by planner and to do, it's fine, it's okay. But I'm gonna show you just how you can take your task setting game to the next level using a little something called Team Flect. So, to assign tasks over chat using Team Flect, we should go to chat again. And now that we're in chat, the same message from Adele. And let's click on the same button. But this time, let's click on New Team Flag Task. But if that button is here, then we can go to More Actions and we can click the same thing. Once we've clicked on it, we are instantly logged in. Now, from here, I can assign the task to myself or anyone else, or even an entire team. All right? So, let me again click on myself and let's give a new task title so share images with Adele and we can add an optional description here we can set a due date and adjust what time and if we're using Team Flick for our goals as well, then you can add a related goal to this task. Right? So the goals and tasks, they're all integrated. So let's add that and let's create it. Done. The task has been sent. But let's see what else we can do with it. As you can see in the chat, in our chat box, we have this new card now. So, assigned a new task. So, if we want, we can send this card and they can see this task. Another nifty thing you can do is click on the Team Flect icon under the chat and we can see all the goals and tasks we've created before. We can create, uh, pick this task and we can just send follow-up messages related to this task. Now, let's see the task within Teamflect. Let's see how it looks. Let's see what you can do with it. 
and in the Team Flight dashboard, we can click on Tasks. And here we have Assigned to Me or Assigned by Me. Right here, this is the task we created for ourselves. And there's the date and the task type and the related goal. And you can see the progress of the related goal itself too. And if we want, we can see the tasks I've assigned to other people. And we can group all those tasks by status, people, due dates. And look, there are all the tasks we've assigned to Adele. And we can click on any task we want. And look, this task was created on a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So I can click on the one-on-one -on -one meeting and go to the page for the one-on-one -on -one meeting itself. Guys, your tasks, your goals, your meetings, your messages, they're all part of a larger progress. So they should all be connected in your software. And there, I can see the tasks. But if you want to see them still in Tasks by Plan Run To Do, we go to the same place and click on your team flight tasks. And there's the task we created. And once we've completed it, we can click the complete button. And that brings us to the end. That about brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you want more helpful content like this, just subscribe to the channel. And if you want to schedule your free demo with Team Fleck, just click on the link in the description below. I've been Emre with Team Fleck, and Jack the dog is way too busy to come out for the outro. Have a great day. Team Fleck. Build teams that deliver.